I think they're going to do a warm-up right now. All right. Doesn't look like this is a real game. Yeah. Uh, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would I would say so. Yeah, okay. Definitely a warm-up. Which one's Gaines? <laughs> Gaines I, uh, does play Diddy and Luigi. Yeah, so, so that they're, they're going for the Canes tag just for a bit of confusion. Yeah. Maybe maybe hoping to uh, <laughs> to mix up the opponents. It would actually be pretty, be pretty funny if, like... Oh one, yeah, I'm one, one, the games, of the, one, one of the blue team members is like, I need you to kill Gaines. <laughs> and then they're like, okay, which one's Gaines? And they look at the wrong tag. It's like, oh, that's C. Is that C or a G? <laughs> the sneaky strats. Oh, opting for the blue Ike. And we'll have to see. So this is um, losers finals here, right? Yes. Okay. Losers finals, best of five once again. And uh, we'll have to see. I actually... I can't speak whatsoever for what uh, the Ike Sonic team would want mm. in terms of stages. In terms, yeah. they. I feel like they would like Town and City just because they have the setups into up smash and forward smash, so they can get those early kills. Um, I think Sonic also likes Duck Hunt, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I I, I could see both those stages as well as just because, uh, out of all the characters, Ike has a little bit more range. Yeah. Um, yeah. Having those bigger stages gives him a little bit more room to do his zoning tools yeah. and kind of try yeah. to space himself out rather than when you're count compact. Not only are people in your unhappy zone, uh, you're going to maybe be hitting your teammate a lot mm -hmm. more than you want. And um, it's always good to have Sonic with a lot of room so he can run around. Exactly. Um, really hard to catch, Son catch Sonic, especially when he has so much room. But yep. I'm not sure how they would feel about FD, because that's a really good stage for Diddy. That's right. This is uh, banana control is going to be really strong there. Maybe we're going to see something like... Lilat? I could say Lilat being decently neutral for, yeah. for that in terms of not polarizing as much. I'm actually really liking this new full stage striking process. Yeah, it feels a yeah. lot. It feels a lot nicer, especially for game one when you're not kind of confined down to uh, the same old stages. I, I like Lilat as a neutral. I think yeah, it, there yeah. is times when it is the most neutral for the matchup. And like having having Town and City as a neutral, and then having a, a stage like Lilat and Duck Hunt, which are pretty pretty like balanced, I guess you could say, as counter picks. Like sort of doesn't make sense to me. So it's having all of them in the same list exactly. sounds pretty good. So we are opting for Town and City, and we're gonna have to see. King Gongo's getting early back airs here on Gaines. Ooh, and he misses that one. Oh, but he gets back onto stage. And what I noticed from Blue Team when I was playing in that against them in Winners Finals, and, and there you see that exactly. a oh. down throw into the up smash, but generally, like, not even those super hard... Oh, yeah. early yeah. SD there by uh, Kid Goggles. SD there from Kid Goggles, yeah. But not, not just the really strong combos like that one, like the down throw into the up smash, but like, just generally, they will always, almost always follow up off of anything. Like if Kid Goggles gets a dash attack, Sonic will be ready to throw out a, an aerial. Right there we saw an up throw into Sonic's back air. It's, that's uh, the nice thing about Sonic's air, um, throws is that they have that much animation that you can react to them pretty well, yeah, even if yeah. you have so much of a slow uh, animation. Now, earlier... Uh, Krim Foich lost his stock really early too, getting knocked under the stage and being unable to recover. So that SD by Kid Goggles is not as bad. It's pretty much an even game now. Oh, Gaines Ooh. Ooh, makes it back. That was a tight situation there. East of gives him the fire punch and lives. Pretty good for, for Gaines there, but... Yeah, this game is pretty even actually. We have uh, two of them at 67 and the two of them at basically kill percent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good stuff there <laughs> from uh, Krim Foyce, just opting to pummel instead of throwing and getting punished by Ike. But good, and good follow up there from uh, from Sons, because that back around Krim Foyce at like 90. Mm -hmm. Got that early kill. He's already down to his last stock. But to, but uh, Kid Goggles is almost ready to be there too. Uh, San living that Ike nice and heavy. And yeah, one of the annoying things about this team is that, like, let's say you get the Ike off stage, Kid Goggles can just go to the edge, charge a spin dash. And then you have to give him so much respect just because you never know when he's going to release it and you don't quite know how to approach him and, and whatnot. It just it makes it so much harder to ed edge guard the other yeah. teammate. Not Z to mention he could be across the stage and it's not like it's going to take him long yeah, to get there. Yeah, yeah. It's like even when you're in the 2 we want to get to Kid Goggles, it can be really hard to, to do anything to him. Yeah. Okay, almost a really bad situation there for Goggles, but he avoids the, uh, the down B game. Opting to play it a little bit safer here, not going into the fray. Good pressure here onto San from, yeah. uh, from the green team. <gasps> oh, okay. Ooh. I thought we were going to see a spike there from Krim Foish, but he couldn't get into the right spacing. But San has really, really taken a lot of damage here from uh, from Green Team. They've yeah, been sandwiching him. Ike way too slow to run away or too slow to throw out an attack. And, and When they're getting sandwiched by Green Team, he's not going anywhere yeah, fast. Yeah. Sonic can get out of there with his up evil. Ike doesn't really have anything like that. 
Good back throw there by Gaines, knocking Ike away. And that forward smash right in Sun's face, and we got three stocks to two in favor of Green Toronto. Team. No bias here, but I'm totally biased here. So. <laughs> Turn, taking it back after uh, what seemed like such a decisive beginning for Blue Team. But uh, Krim going to have to be careful here. He's at death percent, and Gaines not far behind. Yeah, this game is actually a bit more even than I've given it credit for, because if they get two early kills or even one oh. even one kill, yeah, all of a sudden now, it's um, green team definitely at the deficit. Krim has to be really careful. Mm -hmm. Double up smash onto Sun, getting some good damage here. They've got to watch out for... These follow-ups now, because... Yeah, the oh. dash attack. Up smash. That's it. Oh. Now it's going to be rough for gains here. As you said, I don't believe either of these are going to be a fun <gasps> matchup. Oh, okay. 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 Nice by Kid Gobbles covering the roll, knowing Gaines not wanting to deal with that sword in any way. <laughs> <laughs> Barely misses him with that, uh... The helicopter? Yeah. The up, the icopter, as I like to call it. Saves him with the spring, I think. I, I think he still had his jump, but, uh... Okay. He, he didn't get edgeguarded there either. Clutch air dodge. Missing the follow-up. That, that should have been death. This will be death. Yeah. And, yeah, and most of their combos is usually Kid Gobbles setting up into a hit from Ike. Yep. Obviously, getting a hit with Ike is really, really rewarding. Um, it's going to kill way, way more earlier than that yeah. percent. But. And it's also a lot harder for Ike to get the grab to set up the combo. That's so right. Game one going to Rochester. Um, not a bad showing at all. We did see a bit of spaghetti. We saw, I think... Uh, two SDs? Two SDs, yeah. yeah. We saw Krimfoish SD and we saw one of the blue team members, was it? Yeah, uh, Sonic SD. Goggles, uh, goggles, goggles SD yeah. pretty early in the game. And so we'll have to see where, like we said, I believe that that stage was definitely working in blue team's favor. We're going to want to see green team probably take it somewhere else unless they, they were comfortable there. FD, like you said, yeah. going to work better for Diddy and his banana uh, coverage. Definitely going to uh, help stop the spin dashes. Yes. Um, those bananas are going to put in a lot of trouble. And I think Fireball is also really good at covering space. And uh, when you can't escape to something like a platform, exactly, it's going to be hard to escape the projectiles of the green team. And they've... We're putting on some good damage already. Less than 10 seconds. And uh, Kid Goggles at 55, Ike at 40. Krim Foy's putting great pressure here, just not letting either of the blue team get in. And once again, stage control by green team. That has been their the best thing that they've done in the, these double sets, is just keeping the other team off stage. Now Krim Foy's getting off stage, but he makes it back. Oh, that would have been... Forward throwing into the Aether's spike hitbox? That would have been yeah. an interesting setup. A little bit of a miscommunication there from blue team and from green team. Uh, Kid Goggles ends up killing his partner, and he's at 141. So really good start here to, to the green team. Mm -hmm. um, but all it really takes is one throw from, uh, from Kid Goggles. Because and then an up smash from Mike, and we can see the end of a sock from, red, from, uh, from green team. That's one thing about these, uh, these matchups here is that... Uh, Gaines and Krimfoish have to get both characters to much higher percents before they can kill. Whereas uh, one, one good setup from Son and Kid Goggles. And stocks end early. <gasps> oh. Wow! So much range on that up smash! He went way past him and he still got hit by it. Oh my goodness. And it's got the magic fingers there. Yeah, Luigi's gonna have to be careful here. And, uh, but Gaines is playing this pretty well. He's Oh, uh, but eating a back air, forward yeah. air, not reaching. And that's that synergy I was talking about. Just any straight hit from the blue team and the other member is ready to follow up. And we saw that. I don't even know what it was that Ike used to hit to hit Gaines there. But Kid Goggles was ready, threw out that back air, got the kill. And now the game's looking a lot more even, but still. Still still good percentage uh, lead for the green team. Ooh, no follow up there from Gaines. Should have been ready to uh, follow up the banana hit. Yeah. He did expect the uh, the get up attack, but nothing going before that. All right, now blue team has a stage advantage. And the four oh, smash. Yeah, yeah it's, it's gonna, gonna kill. take it. So now, oh, ledge trump. Nice. Good air nice. Dodge by Gaines, turning that around on him. He gets ledge trumped and kills <laughs> San don't, for don't. it. That was that was kind of silly, but. <laughs> uh oh, San look. Oh. Oh, is that it? Ah, yeah. San is gone. Gonna take a stock from Kid Goggles, and oh, Gaines missing that follow up. And that's a kill. Yep. Yeah. Now it's gonna be the two v one. Luigi with two stocks. Then Son is really just gonna have to hope for an SD here. That's all I can really say. Mm -hmm. um, I, either that or like a kill, and then an air dodge read to a spike, and then a one v one. Something, something really nutty is what Son's gonna need right now. And I feel like Krim is just gonna keep his his head on straight and just gonna think, okay, I can just pull out a banana, yep. stay safe, and there's not really much I can do here. There we see the banana. 
We Gain see Gaines t just standing back, knowing yeah. that if he loses the stock there, advantage. <laughs> oh, uh, wait for the is. air dodge. Good stuff by San. Two more stocks to go for him, but. Up throw Nair. Careful, careful. Okay, yeah. He's nah, not He's not going to challenge that. Oh. Thought that banana might have gimped him. There you go. Oh, there yes. you go. There we go. Game two to uh, Ontario boys. And really, like, the game was looking pretty even until we saw that one SD from Son. Yeah. Um, and I think that was, I think once you get hit, you can't grab the edge for, like, 30 frames. Yeah, that's um, right. And I think he got hit by Chris's back air, and he thought he was going to grab the edge. Fell right past it and then thought, and oh, no, crap. didn't have a double yeah. jump. Yep. Yeah. That, that is definitely an unfortunate situation. But uh, good stuff. Sets up for good edge guards if you know somebody doesn't have their um, their jump anymore. And linear recoveries like Ike. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that was really, like, the only edge guard edge guard they were we able to get on, on Ike. Ike. Yeah. And it was mostly just Ike SD. -ing. Um Are we going back to FD? No. No, I don't think they can. Or unless they Switch want to. Switching colors? Oh, okay. Okay. Kate Goggles uh, and Son are both black, so yes. I think um, <laughs> Kate Goggles is trying to represent his people here. Oh, okay, I see. Going with the black Sonic. <laughs> Shoutouts to Miguel. And so now they're opting for Battlefield. Definitely yeah. not not enjoying the FD uh, shenanigans. I feel like this is a good pick for the uh, for the blue team. Um, they both seem to do really well with platforms, especially Ike. He's got that really powerful sword. There's really good platform pressure. Sonic, not so much, but he can at least escape to the platforms. Right. It's a, it's helping their defense as well, not just their offense versus this team. But again, Kid Goggles taking the brunt of the damage here at the beginning of the game. He's already at 79. He's going to have to play it a bit more safe. Yeah, he's kind of just going in right now and eating a lot of damage as a result. San 2. San 2 is not looking so healthy compared to the green team's percentage. And green team, like, they're not being, like, synergistic in the, in the uh, like, the tr traditional way where it's like, okay, I throw and you follow up. But they're really, like, the, the options that they're picking at neutral are really just complementing each other really well. And they're, they're able to take control of, like, the right parts of the stage um, and just assume total stage control at pretty much all, all points. That's right. And they're, they both are actually opting for the uh, 1v1s a lot, which normally we say in doubles isn't uh, the greatest idea if you can get follow-ups. But just as you said... It's more so situational awareness, knowing yeah. when to go for person A or person B. And it's uh, working out great for them. And of course, you know, there's nothing wrong with going with two 1v1s if you're winning at the 1v1s. Right, exactly. at the end of the day, you're going to win the game, so. Okay, both green team members at high percent, but Sun. Oh, Ooh. Kane's saving his partner there, very likely. That hit from Ike looked very strong. Both these guys have been at high percent for a while. Oh, that back air will and definitely finally take one it. kill, but looks like they're having trouble getting this uh, this kill on Krim. They've had they took long enough to get the kill on Gaines, um, and the damage is just racking up. They're getting sandwiched once again. Oh! Finally gets hit by that uh, by a kill move. Runoff back air there from Sun is going to take it from Krim, but again they're getting sandwiched. This team formation is just not working out for the blue team. Mm -hmm. Um. They're trying to go in for damage on one, and the other teammate just says, now we have you where you want. Now, Kid Goggle's doing well getting damage here on gains, uh, evening it up, but uh, Krim Foich hasn't taken any damage. There we go. Curse, yeah. But <laughs> since he lost his stock, not being touched for a very long time. Now, Krim looking pretty healthy as usual. Gaines taking a little, little bit more damage, but not looking too bad for the green team because they're in position to get two kills right now. One one raw up smash from Krim, I take it. Ike being a little too heavy for that. Nice down smash there to seal Kid Goggles' stock. What I'm liking from Gaines is that we see him always just staying near the center of the stage. And I think he's like kind of the anchor for the green team. It's, he's, it's allowing them to maintain stage control much more uh, uh, for a bigger chunk of time. And it's and definitely a good idea here with Diddy having such amazing movement options. If yeah. there is a character that you want to be able to... Anchored down out of the two, Luigi's the better option. And Luigi, uh, Diddy Kong also has uh, good options for like su providing support and like escape options from the side. So like if he's at the edge, he can throw out that side B and B shield. He can throw out a banana. He can pull out a banana, and then now you have to you have to respect him so much. Really nice up smash there by Krim Foish, getting uh, off of Gaines's forward air. Ooh, banana down tilt up smash. Not gonna kill Kid Goggles, but he's at 126. He's got to be super careful. And Gaines still on his second stock. That dash attack gonna kill his partner, and it's looking like Ontario's gonna go up 2-1 yet again against Rochester. 
gonna keep a we're gonna defend the home soil here and potentially see an entirely Ontario Grand Finals. Ooh. No bias, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's let's see. Son's gonna have quite a hill to climb here once again, looking at a three three stocks with uh, gains at high percentage. And I like that by Chris, not getting too antsy, because like, if you threw out a forward air or, an, or, or an up air or something meaty, he might have accidentally ki killed his partner and knocked him off stage. That's right. Just decided, okay, I'm just gonna stay here, throw out the banana, and let Gaines do his thing. And uh, oh, that uh, back air will take it. But yeah. Son is really good at those. He because he throws in so many empty hops, you never know when he's going to empty hop grab or he's going to fast fall back here. <laughs> oh, nice counter there. Oh, my goodness. Okay. If that had, uh, if that had worked, I... Yeah, that would have been... That, but that was exactly what he needed. He needed to gimp uh, gains there if he's going to make anything out of this uh, 1v2. I now expect them to go for the Shoryuken because gains isn't so worried about maybe whiffing an up B punish. Mm -hmm. Okay, recovering low. I like this. Mm -hmm. No punish from Gaines. Oh, there you go. Yep, there you go. There it goes. Doesn't matter. All done. And did he actually live that? He still yeah. 110. Yeah, he, he was. He was going. To, he was Gaines, going places. Gaines knows the trajectories. He knows the knockbacks. He knows the math. And he knew Diddy was gonna live longer than Ike was gonna live, and that's gonna be 2-1 for Ontario right now. So it could be one more game. We could see a full set, but definitely looks like uh, Ontario has gotten this uh, matchup figured out a little better. One, one more game, and we send New York home packing, and I can't help but smile. I can't help but smile. So exactly from Canada with love. <laughs> Just give him a pat on from the back. From Canada with love. You're always welcome here, but you're not welcome to win. Uh, <laughs> our money ain't free. It might be worth a little, but it's not free. Um, now, Kid Goggles and Sun. I don't know if they have any secondaries. Mm. They're not, like... They're not getting destroyed. They're not getting, like... Mm -hmm. It's not like they have to counterpick, but I know Kid Goggles used to have a Sheik. He told me he doesn't really play her anymore, but yeah. he used to have a Sheik. Okay, they're sticking with their characters. I don't blame them. If this is the uh, the character setups that they've practiced, uh, other characters just going to mean they're not going to get the yeah. follow-ups as crisply yeah. as they want. Now, this is, again, not a bad pick for, for Green Team. they still got platforms, maybe in, in, in different spots and a little bit of a more awkward spot, but mm -hmm. they've still got platforms that they can use. Uh... But I feel like this is also still pretty good for Diddy because he, again, more or less flat stage. He's going to be able to get his banana setups, but Sonic is going to be able to, just as we saw um, copping about on uh, Town and City, has a little bit more space to work with. Wow, and that dog actually helping out games there. As he landed with that fireball, the dog spaced it for him, so it hit, <laughs> hit the airborne kid goggles. Game looking really even so far. Every time Ike lands a hit with yeah, that sword, it just, it's, just, it just, it's so scary. Yeah, it just sounds like, oh, he's going to die at 20%. I don't care. That sword's huge. And then he doesn't even go off stage. Yeah. like, okay, never mind. He's not <laughs> that strong. Man. Oh. There it is again. Again, that back, that back <laughs> here. Man, the, the guy goes to the gym, clearly. Those muscles. He's going to hit like a truck. Definitely been working out since Brawl. <laughs> um. Put on his big boy pants. All right, now... We just see, again, such a good stage presence from Green Team. Oh, almost getting spiked uh, there, though. You really have to respect Ike's recovery. Yeah, and we've, we've seen quite a few of that from uh, from the blue team. I think Son has killed Kid Goggles like twice or three times in the back air, and he did it there again. And that, that was supposed to be a really bad situation for Gaines. So he almost got spiked by that up B. Yeah. But instead, they both lived, and then Son kills his partner, which is exactly what Gaines wanted. That, that um, is uh, definitely one of the uh, things that I can speak about. Whenever you have such a big sword wheel and character in Devils, hitting your teammate is unfortunately yeah, reality. Yeah. And Ike, unfortunately, can't turn off his uh, his high-hitting power. That kind of sticks around. You hit your teammate. It can be rough times. Okay, good neutral here from San Jab. And then he got a backer on both of their shields. So he's able to 1v2 them and keep both of them scared, choosing defensive options. But... We see a kill there on Gaines. Krim again, being the healthiest on the screen, nothing new. And he's almost going to get this kill on Son. <laughs> and Krim just throwing out <laughs> smashes left <laughs> and right. Just forward smash, up smash. You want to kill me, bro? You want to kill me, bro? Come into this. <laughs> forward smash, up smash, forward smash. Throwing out smashes left and right. Just looking for these kills here. Could have gotten... Go ahead. You got you got a Diddy with rage. He's gonna <laughs> get killed with almost anything. Son is dead. He gets gimped oh. by the cyclone from Gaines, and, and then Krim Voice follows up, gets the kill on Kid Goggles, and we've got forced. Five stocks to two. Are we going to send the invaders home packing already? 3-1, losers finals? Oh. Uh-oh. Don't. Ah, good stuff there. See, seeing Ike guard with uh, Aether, if he, if he can get it timed, especially when you got a linear recovery, unfortunately, Gaines can uh, avoid that a bit more. Yeah, but he can stall a little bit. 
Or but, choose not to stall. Yes, exactly. You can mix it up as much as he needs. But Gaines and Krimfoich, just as I was about to say, holding on to these stocks, but Gaines decided to throw us up to lunch. And then Krimfoich gets 2v1 combo, up throw into the Ike up air. He's going to take it. Three stocks to two. Again, not not undoable for the for, blue, for the blue team by any means. Mm -hmm. If they can get more of those, uh, those 2v1 combos with the Sonic throw into the Ike, whatever sword move. Yes, um, up smash or whatever he chooses. Up smash, back air forward smash would be ideal. Um, they can probably get an early kill and, and bring this back. But green team again in the center, keeping stage control. Just just really opting for, uh, for uh -oh, green. Oh, there it is, there it is, oh, there it is. That could be a oh, great He's DI living, there though. from Gaines, though. Yeah. You, the one thing about that is you can see it coming, so you if you're not DIing that well, uh, you gotta you gotta check your uh, yeah, you gotta DI check your building. reflexes. Yeah. Now this is actually getting scary because now both team green team members are at high percent, and we just need like two uh, two back airs from Mike or two back airs from the blue team in general, mm -hmm. and we could see a one v two in favor of uh, in favor of the invaders, as I like to call them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh, one and border there, goes, there it is. Up, Diddy's gone. Now down a stock, but the healthiest of them all. Now one thing is, is that Krim's gonna still have to play very patient. He doesn't want to take damage and get rid of this lead here. Oh, Ooh. down airs his partner. He's living, but barely living. 159 on Sun. That's so much rage, but also so much damage. This can really go either way. Oh. Oh, what is Sun looking for? I, I don't know. So many empty ups. Kid goggles at any point. He could throw out that oh. back air. And get a kill on gains. Oh, oh, no, no, oh, no. forward tilt. Oh, there we oh, go, there we go. And that's a 3-1 victory for Ontario. Going out with a bang there with those last stocks. Done in a blink of an eye. And again, I think that was like the fourth or fifth time we saw Son kill his partner. Yeah. With his, with his big old sword, that big old Ragnall.